have more now. We turn to Christina Halcrum, legal counsel for Latin America for Alliance Defending Freedom International and the lead lawyer on the Bishop's case. Christina, great to have you back on. First off, what stood out the most to you today uh, from the hearings and what do you hope comes from it? What stood out the most for us was the concern that Nicaraguan nationals and the international community show for Bishop Alvarez. The bishop has certainly become a symbol of the persecution that people of faith have to endure in Nicaragua. And Christina, there's so many questions and concerns over Bishop mm -hmm. Alvarez's well-being. What do you know about his health and the conditions in which he's being kept? Yes, reliable sources confirm that his health conditions are dire, and so much so that the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights and the Inter-American Court of Human Rights have ordered Nicaragua to guarantee his right to health. ADF International is now submitting a petition to the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights requesting his immediate release and the protection and guarantee of all his human rights. And, Christina, we heard, you know, there are calls from the Biden administration to do more to secure Bishop Alvarez's re release. Uh, what do you think of the White House and the international community's response so far? It could be stronger. U.S. Congress could urge um, the, this administration and ambassador at large for international religious freedom to prioritize diplomatic efforts to end the persecution in Nicaragua and to um, let Bishop Alvarez go. And, of course, he is not the only Catholic figure that's being targeted uh, by the Ortega regime. Talk to us more about that and what's happening down there. Yes, the church right now in Nicaragua is being really careful. They are not free to worship. They are not free to pray out loud for their pastors. Um, as you know, 12 priests were recently, last month, expelled into Rome just because preaching on, on human dignities and in God-given freedoms. The Nicaraguan authorities are getting rid of any pastors that preach on freedom, freedom and denounce their injustices. Christina, where do you think this is all going and what do you think will happen uh, if more isn't being done? Well, the church is going to become more silent. Um, every day passing. So we really need advocates, true advocates that want to um, want to protect religious freedom and, and want to advocate for religious freedom to speak louder. And Christina, thank you so much for coming on today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.